Good morning. This is Belinda with Belinda's Baubles. Today is July 26, so it's day 27 of Christmas in July. I didn't post a vlog yesterday. It was our first day back from vacation, and I was exhausted. I never even, sorry, arm was itching. Um, I never even got out of my pajamas yesterday, hardly. Um, it was just after two days driving and the long vacation, which was wonderful, I just crashed. I would have in, I had energy in the morning, started laundry, didn't finish it, <laughs> um, decided to get the blow up pool that I've had in a box for over a year out. It's now sitting on top of the table. I at least read the instructions, but I still didn't get that put up because I was missing the water. And took naps and knit in between. It was, it was a nice day. I just don't remember a whole lot of it. <laughs> I guess the aftermath of a vacation and I'm glad that sorry it is itching okay um, it's the aftermath of a vacation and I'm glad I took an extra day for when we got back because otherwise I would have been falling asleep at work yesterday it's 6 30 in the morning and I'm the only one up other than the dogs are moving around over there because they can hear me and I'm getting ready to head in to work for my 7 a.m. shift. But I thought I would check in with you guys this morning, get us back on track for the last week of Christmas in July. I can't believe we've made it this far, and I've technically, even though I did a few um, shorts, I've only missed one day. And I'm proud of myself for my first Christmas in July that I've made it this far. breakfast in a bottle. This is my premier protein cafe, cafe or you know, just coffee and protein. Okay. On vacation, I was so busy visiting with family and going to the beach and even though I took my knitting with me or my crochet, I didn't get much done. It really surprised me. Even in the car, I didn't get that much done. Um, but I'll show you a little bit of what I did get done. I worked on Sam's sock because that was the easiest thing since I had gotten through to the gusset. And I had it on my little yarn minder so I could hang it from the visor when I wasn't driving. Uh, Seaver and Sam did some of the driving too. So I'd gotten to the gusset. And the lighting in here is bad because it's dark outside pretty much still. Okay, there we go. So I'm down the foot a bit. I just did a heel. This is just a vanilla sock with a heel flap and gusset. So I've gotten a little ways. You know, it's just easy knitting now to where I can just pick it up and, and go. What I got the most done on, which still wasn't that much, was the granny tee. I did finally, where am I at? Okay. I did finally um, get it to K. 
connect under the arms. I tried it on and I love the fit. That's the back. I've only gotten some of the... <laughs> Look at all that. Oh, okay. But I am loving how it's coming out. So the make-along I'm working on that with is on the Lamb Yarn Shop, and I have until the end of August, I believe, for it. And on vacation, I never picked up my Christmas in July project, which I have not done real good on. <laughs> And this is the morning fog brain, okay. Okay, I'll put it down here below because I'm not going to push my brain this early. But I did get a gray stripe done. And see if I can get you the color. There we go. And this is that turquoise. It was my favorite color of all the, the yarns. And I can't get it. There we go. And so I'm to my next gray stripe. I got that started last night. So again, this is just knitting in the round and I'll just keep working at it just pulling it pulling something out of the bag as far as for the next color and I did this is where I put them ah, I did treat myself to some hair clips And that's working much better to keep all with all these little minis in here. I need to attach it to the scrappy granny too. I just couldn't remember where I'd put them. Okay. So that's where I am with my most active projects. I did cast on that new shawl with the yarn I got from Arkansas Yarn Co. And I wasn't paying close enough attention, so I was wrapping my yarn wrong. So my lace wasn't turning out very good and I had skipped the first row of lace by not paying attention to my pattern because I was trying to do it while talking and visiting and that was not working so I ripped it out and restarted it it needs its own project bag I think it may be yeah it's sharing a project bag at the moment I didn't take an extra project bag with me So it's getting stuck in here. Just checking my time. And this yarn is so pretty. Okay. But now that I've got it. Here we go. See if I can get you a little bit of a look. Or not. Okay. It just wants to do this. Okay. Get you a little bit of a look at the lace. 
the holes are there where they're supposed to be now. And I've got my Arkansas Yarn Company um, pro um, Progress Keeper stitch marker. And I'm a lot happier with how this is turning out now. I'm glad I went ahead and ripped back and restarted. I'm basically back where I was when I ripped it back. I just need to be able to pay a little better attention to it. And now that I'm not running every which direction again and just back at work and normal life, I can get back to working on some of my projects. <laughs> Getting a little bit done. Whew. This next week is basically working and no big plans but I do have some sorry looking for what I've done with my coffee I do have some video still from Alaska that I'm wanting to post and also the out and about that we did with the grandkids uh, to the alpaca farm at Christmas so I have those to post otherwise you have me at home and there should there may be some funny video when I do set up that pool because I'm determined to have it in the backyard the grass needs to be mowed and I'm debating on whether or not to just go ahead and set the pool up because as dry as it is the grass is not going to be growing a whole lot but decisions to be made this week whenever you're back dealing with a hundred and five degree temperature every day. It was so, so nice being in the cooler temperatures up in the mountains. I was just so out of practice when it came to driving up there. I did not realize that I guess driving on the flatlands for close to 30 years, it does get you out of practice. <laughs> okay, so I have sat here and talked to you guys for over 10 minutes. I don't know if I've said a whole lot, but I did at least show you my projects. And I better go get ready for work. I'll see you later on today. Good evening. It's about 10 o'clock at night and I'm just coming on to say good night and to tell you a little bit about my day. Uh, so I did work today. We fixed dinner. What did we have tonight? We had lasagna. Yeah, I did the um, cheat lasagna. <laughs> good old Stouffer's to the rescue with some breadsticks and then we enjoyed an evening just sitting in front of the TV and instead of working on any of the projects that I have already going, what did I do? I cast on a new one. <laughs> I was looking around on Instagram this afternoon at lunch and was reminded that Allie with Little Drops of Wonderful is running her short, strawberry shortcake make-along and I wasn't going to do it didn't feel like doing shark stuff either but then I decided to go on Ravelry and just do a strawberry shortcake search what harm could come from that you know so what did I find Let's see if you can see this uh, here we go no, that's a little tiny. These are the Strawberry Shortcake Socks by Antonia Stonell. And it's a free pattern. I'm not sure when she released it, but it only has a couple of projects on it. And they are so cute. So what did I do this evening? I had to find something to do with the strawberry shortcake stitch markers that I got at 
Arkansas Yarn Company. And they are cute. So I had uh, something to do with them. Look at them. <laughs> they got a little green, almost like a little green top to them and everything. So, so yes, I started a new project. All I've gotten is the cuff done so far. I'm doing it contrast color in black. So that way the seeds will be black. And then went into my stash and found a Hank Me Home Tonight in squishy sock called Brick Tamland. I'm sure this is um, in regards to either a game or a show, but I don't know. I just like the color. So I had to cake it up. And so I'm going to have my strawberry shortcake socks. I'm not working any socks for myself right now anyway. So, you know, I haven't had a new pair this summer. So I need a new pair, right? Yeah. I try not to have more than five um, projects on the go. I can tell you right now I have more than five projects on the go, but oh well. They'll get done in their own time. At the moment, I have one with the, well now two, with the end of August for a time frame, and one for Christmas. Otherwise, the others will just get done when they get done. And as much as I love to knit and crochet, they will eventually get done. Okay, well, I'm going to go get this ready to post it and start fresh again tomorrow. And let's see where life takes us. I hope you've had a chance to do a little knitting or crocheting yourself today. I hope if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you've been able to stay cool it's been difficult doing it here today, unless you stay inside. Uh, and if you're in the summer, Southern Hemisphere, I hope you're staying warm. All right, I will talk to y'all later. Good night.